All right. Well, you want to carry on in the D3 here? We're on a pretty good roll. Yeah, sure. All right. Yeah. Hey, here's the thing. Uh, I guess we should preface the D3 mod. Uh, it's really well done in terms of both skills and gear support. Uh, there's oh, a ton definitely. of components, tons of gear sets, ton of uniques. It's just overall top tier stuff. So if you want to try some new classes that are really good, I would I would start here. When you get one of those D3 classes, it's like pretty much playing D3. Uh, my favorite, the D3 Barbarian. Uh, this one got a, a massive uh, revamp uh, that I came back to. A lot of these suggestions I made, um, and I'm really happy to see that they made it into the mod. Some things like uh, resist reduction on Whirlwind, that's super nice because then, like we were talking about before, you, you don't have to stop and cast your mm -hmm. debuffs as much. It also supports bleed and cold now, which before it was only physical and fire, so I'm really happy about that. That's more versatile. And a lot of things that were super OP <laughs> got uh, knocked down a smidge, so you um, aren't as invincible. But there's still one thing there, and I know you know what I'm talking about. That it that requires up. some work, but you can make your build completely immune to damage 100% yeah, of, of the time. I mean, you, you can get 100% cooldown reduction still, so ignore pain, it's still going to be OP. They decrease the duration and increase the cooldown, so you have, you're going to go at least to 75% to actually get permanent. So it now supports all elemental types, physical at 60, which that's super nice too, and bleeding yep. for 30. I mean, personally, I think the best change that the class had was the weapon throw skill. So now Frenzy also has the sidearm. It's it's no yep. longer spammable. Yep, but I think he also increased the damage overall, the weapon damage at least. It's less spammable, but it does way more damage. Yeah, it's more like a single target nuke. Yeah, definitely. I would say he's all melee type of builds. You're not going to so get much definitely. faster. Uh, there is some really cool stuff though, like everything that's in D3, you're going to find in this class. So like Whirlwind, Earthquake, there's a Leap Quake set that'll make you be able to spam Leap and it'll cause an Earthquake. There's Avalanche and you can convert that the, to Ice, Weapon Throw, a lot of the passives, Rend, uh, Warcry, fucking Wrath of the Berserker, may, it makes you massively yeah. huge. So, um, yeah, I'm super glad that it's more versatile now because before it was just fire and physical and you can only do that build so many times before it gets really old. Yeah. Anyways, moving on. Um, Crusader. Yep. I've heard this class sucks. Yeah, dude, I don't know who played this class. <laughs> it's, it's pretty good stuff. Uh, we did a grim cast, what, like six it, months it, ago on it and you were yeah. doing insane amounts of damage and pretty much invulnerable. Uh, Crusader does really well with what? Fire and lightning. Fire, lightning, physical. It can be both a caster and a melee build. It has decent support for everything else though. So every, you know, it does have 25 to 30 to support everything else. Um, yeah. I would just, I would say it's mostly elemental and physical though. If I had to, if I had to pick. Primarily it's going to be fire because you have shield bash, you have uh, smite, you have slash, all of them are fire oriented, so fire is going to be your best bet. If you want to play a crusader, just play it with a shield. So you know that you can have those crusader weapons, don't uh, hold your ground uh, passive, but you can actually do the shield and two handed at the same time. Um, I think demon hunters next? But there's some exciting upcoming stuff with that too, with um, Either. Strafe. I, yeah. And there actually is uh, one-handed crossbows in this mod, which is pretty yeah, neat. Exactly. So, so like a lot of the things that were in D3, like we were saying, being able to wield a two-handed weapon with, with a shield, that's in the mod. Being able to wield one-handed crossbows, that's in the mod. Um, any other uniques for D3 item-wise? Wings, we have uh, the Archon as well from Wizard. Almost all of that that you can think of from D3, you have it on, on this mod. Yeah, a lot of the uh, bosses from D3 are in Shattered Room, so... Yeah. Um, Demon Hunter is very good with uh, Elemental, of course, uh, and, it, and, and Pierce and Bleed. And it basically yep. supports a little bit of everything, but it's going to be a ranged build. Maybe slightly oh, it's be range. melee once Strafe comes out and you have... Um, Chakram. 
true. But yeah, uh, mostly range. I'm just gonna put it under ranged. Um, I'm just gonna put it under everything because it supports <laughs> an array of things here. It has a lot of support too, on both in terms of a, a circuit bra breaker. It has damage absorption. It has a heal, just like in D3, like when you know yeah. for the shadows of shadow power. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, it also has the skill where you can shoot the missiles. Yeah, you have you have an evade skill with a smoke screen as as well. I know a lot of people like to to, to make um, not rapid fire. What's that? A uh, multi shot. Yeah, they work out pretty nice. Yo, definitely because you get you, you get a lot of projectiles in a single enemy, especially if it's a boss. So it's really really good. Yeah, so so this could basically support anything as long as you wanted to. I mean, you could use it as support for any class, but if you were going to use its skills, you could make a range build for for basically any anything. Yeah, definitely. All right, what are we looking at now? Monk. So that's another one that got the massive rework done, especially with the Mystic Ally. Yeah, um, that's really cool because basically the way it works is instead of having all these different mo modifiers on it, you get all of them. Uh, the, the the pet has a one second cooldown. Each time you cast it, you'll get a different ally. And so each ally is going to have different um, buffs on it and stuff and auras and attacks. And uh, I think that's extremely cool and well done. And it definitely changes the mechanic of, of Monk because for a while um, it was mostly just used for support. And it, it may still be. I think it would actually make a pretty good healer. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty good support class. It's got lots of damage absorption. This one, like we were mentioning before, has the aura for your um, resist reduction so if you were going to go with the spin the wind build or like a melee build yeah. you don't have to stop and cast those things you have one of the best circuit breakers in the game as well oh yeah 100 percent damage absorption yeah no no that's super super cool oh yeah that's super nice i was trying to make an like when i played d3 i had made a cooldown reduction of epiphany and i was trying to replicate that in this game and i i didn't make it that far one of the things that's most dangerous on the D3 bosses, especially on SR8 and stuff like that, is that they do a lot of uh, reflected damage. You pretty much just kill yourself. And with Monk, it's really easy to get 100% uh, reduction to reflected damage. So it's one of the easiest class to actually push high Shadow Realms levels. So here's the Monk stats. It must have got a insane rework because it's elemental did, uh, resistance reduction is now 71 i mean that's with class c so it's going to vary a slight amount because but that's only 15 percent on in class c so it got a lot of work um would you say it's mostly melee that's probably what i would are mostly do. melee yeah anyway, exactly you're not gonna do so you can use it as and, it's more so you can use it as than anything. yeah yeah yeah, definitely. And that's the thing. If you you can use it as support for rangers and casters, it works really well as, as support for caster builds. But if you want to use it as your main class, it's gonna be melee only. Witch Doctor, I I was having fun with this one. I was I, I paired it with uh, a storm, and I was doing like a spin the wind. But Witch yeah. uh, Doctor, that here is crazy, because it supports well, vitality and poison. Um, what else? Yeah. Cold. Fire, fire, of course. Yep, cold. Cold. I mean, you have the Spirit Varage build now, and it's so, it good? so good. Mm. Oh, it's really, really good. It it's super like strong. Let's see. And the set that and the set that gives you an additional projectile. It's just, it's just completely the same. Um, I would, I would argue that Witch Doctor is just casters and pets. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, that's the thing because you have the the piranhas uh, skill that does total resistance reduction, so yeah, it, it can support all kinds of all kinds of pets and the overall pets uh, buffs that you have. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a global even, pet support. Yeah, and as far as like gear support goes, like there's the uh, I can't pronounce it. It's the Z set. It starts with the Z, like Zunimasa or something. Zunimasa. Yeah, and you know, yeah. so that way you could have your you know your little pet build all right how about the wizard 
<laughs> so the wizard. So you want to talk about OP? Let's talk about OP. <laughs> yeah, I've I've played one and it it's it's super fun because there's so much resist reduction on it. There's lots of damage absorption skills. Uh, circuit breaker. Actually, all of the D three classes have a circuit breaker, which is nice. Uh, so if you pair those up, you'll get at least two. Um, and yeah, that's Hydra, what I was thinking. Black hole, all that classic stuff from D three. Yeah. And you have slow time, without sh which also does resistance reduction. You have the Archon, which also gives you total max resist, which is really, really rare. I know it's a really high number, but if you can get all max resist on gear, and you pair it with an Archon, it's one of the very few masters that you can actually do on Immortal build, and you don't really have to work that much for it. Nice. Uh, man, we're ripping through these. We've gone through half of them now. We went through Titan Quest, Cataclysm, and Diabito. I mean, Diablo. Um, <laughs> the only thing left we have is Zenith, Diablo 2, and NCFF. How, how are you feeling? Do you want to do the, the other set another time? Are you feeling okay? You getting sleepy? Or you want to try yeah, to no, crash think, all these out? Yeah, no. I think I'm going to crash right now because I'm, I'm awake since 6 in the morning. Cool, dude. I appreciate you. Um, I appreciate your time and stuff coming on. Uh, it's always a, a pleasure, and we can actually do a stream earlier on a set on, on a Saturday, so I don't keep. Yeah, you definitely, late. and we can cover more no. stuff. All right, I'll see you around, buddy. Well, see you guys. See you. Right. See you around. See you guys. Good night. Take care. So that was everything we covered on our first stream. Come check us out on our next one, where we'll cover the last three mods of Dawn of Masteries, and of course, all the necromancers. I will announce it on the Discord. Also, let me know how you guys are doing in the randomized contest. Which random builds have been working out best for you? Until next time, stay excellent. Oh.